Hey. Hello, guys. How are you? Good evening, guys. How's everybody? All good? Fine. Thank you. How hey, are you? Hey, Kalina. Nice to see you again. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm excellent. excellent. I, had, um, I had a small nap before I started this class, uh, so I, I feel good, you know. What about you? What, what, uh, how was your day? How was work? How lucky you are. Well, I'm <laughs> not because I work a lot. You have no idea. I, I, my time is like, I really don't have time for anything. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy. I need to go out. <laughs> I really need to go out because, because it's, it's, you know, work has been hard. Um, well, I, I like it though. Maybe, I like it. But... <laughs> maybe this weekend you deserve Yes, I deserve going out this uh, this weekend. You are absolutely right about that. Anyways, how, how about uh, your your day? How was work? I'm on vacation right now. I am a teacher, and and right now we, we are. Oh yes, you're a holidays. teacher. Nice, yes. nice, nice. Yes. What is it? What is it that you teach? I'm sorry. Pre kinder. Oh, kinder, nice. Pre kinder. Pre -K. kinder, oh my god. Yes. Okay. You know, yes, I, I, I love the little ones. Wow, okay. I wouldn't be able to handle that because I don't know. I, you, you I have heard kids. you. <laughs> Do you have kids? Yes, one, eight, eight years old. Okay, right, yeah. I don't, so I don't know how to handle kids. And yeah, like, I don't know. I would be like, hello, people. I don't know how to, how to what to tell you, right? <laughs> It's great. Okay, it's great. Um, anyways, that's good. Alejandro, how are you, man? How was your day? Hi, Alejandro. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Um, my day was a little busy, but I'm glad to be here in the class tonight. And, and everybody, it's good, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Very good. Um, so anyways, man, glad to see you here. <clears throat> Yesterday, guys, I had another class and, you know, it's it's sometimes you and, 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 you know, people, well, students from the other class call me, um, call me um, T-shirt, you know, and T-shirt sound, sounds like this, right? Like a T-shirt, right? So I tell them that they're calling me El Camisas, you know? So, so every time that you call me guys t-shirt i'm gonna tell you right don't call me camisas okay <laughs> anyways mirna welcome back mirna you skated from the class yesterday huh you missed the class yesterday yes i'm sorry <laughs> well, that's okay how are you how was how was uh, how was your day today uh good ah uh, well i'm sick so that's not so oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. What did you come down with? What? What did you come down with? Mm. Th that is what did you come down with? It means like, what do you get? Like a flu or? Oh uh, yeah, it's a flu. I think that it's a flu. <laughs> okay, you don't know if it's COVID or, or just a flu. Uh, well, tomorrow I'm gonna do my the the test oh okay All right. well have you been feeling like super super weak Not, and no like that like that but i is is not the 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 simple flu okay so it's not it's not it's a complicated flu yeah so it's okay all right, it's an angry flu, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, okay. Thank you for being here, uh, even though you're sick, okay. Uh, Miguel, all right, welcome Miguel, Luis, Paco, Janet, Jocelyn, Alejandro. Nice to see you guys, how was your day? Everything good? Yes. Everything Ooh. good. <laughs> all right, guys, okay, so, um, so I was giving everybody else some time so they, so you could, so, well, so they could join in. Uh, but I don't know what happened. So we're going to continue with the class today, guys. Today we have a very special topic. Uh, remember to have the cameras turned on, guys, um, and uh, participate. Ask as many questions as you can. It seems that you guys are 
thumb is not very good. Your what is not very good? My thumb. Your camera? Yes. Oh, don't worry, okay? You, you look just fine, okay? I like the filter, all right? It's the, the orange filter. I got a white filter. That's why I look all white, but I'm, I'm, um, I'm, um, I'm brown, guys. <laughs> no. okay. I got the same, the same filter as Jocelyn. See, Jocelyn is all white, too. <laughs> Jocelyn, you look like you just woke up, Jocelyn. <laughs> she was like, that's why you had the camera turned Something off, right? Like she, was that. Like, she was sleepy. She was like, yeah, I'm going to sleep during the class. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome. All right, guys. So let's get started. This is what happened to everybody else. Guys, a question, right? Oh, no, no, no. You're good, right? Um, people who didn't come yesterday. Uh, Mirna, did you, did, you, uh, did you complete section number two already? Mirna. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, just completed. No. Uh, just completed this week, okay? It doesn't matter if you have COVID. You're going to be like sick, you know? And no, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, if you're like super, super sick like that, uh, you know, it's okay, right? But but try to do it uh, this week, okay? <laughs> Sleep it or not, right? <laughs> or not, but it's very, very good. All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? So in today's agenda, guys, wait. Hold on. All right, so... In today's agenda, guys, we're going to talk about infinitive clauses and phrases, okay? First of, guys, all right, what is a clause? What is a clause, guys? Like a, um, a rule? Okay, you say, uh, you say it's uh, a rule? Okay. It's like a rule, kind of. All right, like a rule. Okay, very good. Um, what else, guys? Who else has an idea of what a clause is? Like an estate? A state, like in the United States? Uh, no. You mean a statement? Uh, yeah, a statement. A statement. Okay, right. It is a statement. You're very close, okay? All right. So, you, you okay, so a rule, a statement. What else? All right, I'll give you an example and you guys tell me if this is a clause or not, okay? For example, okay. if I say, guys, Cheyenne, nah, <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to talk about you anymore. All right, well, if you don't give me another name, right? So if I say uh, Cheyenne sings and that's it, is this a clause? No? Who said? All right. No, Raise no. your hand, guys. For me, you no. Think that it is, you think no. that it's not, okay? No. All right. Very good. Uh, what do you think, Alejandro? Is this a clause or not? Mm, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, don't I'm going to guess, right? Yes, yes. I don't know about that. <laughs> no, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Right? Do you? All right. All right. Some people say. So Alejandro is the only one who says yes. What do you think, Marina? Is this a clause or not? Mm, I don't know. I think that is not. Okay, you think that it's not. Okay, very good. Um, is this a sentence though? Is this a sentence? If I say Cheyenne sings, is that a sentence? Sentence? No? It is a sentence, but it doesn't have components. Okay, so it is a sentence without components. Okay, all right, so we got a sentence without components. All right, all right, very good. I like what, how you think, guys. Okay, you think about it incorrectly. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. You're, you're good. Okay, all right, um, all right, guys. So, what about this, guys? What if I say, I don't know, give me another name, guys. Right, hey, uh, what's your uh, Janet? Who's the Who's the 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 the, uh, the the actor that you like the most? Don't worry, your your is you're, uh, Ricardo Arjona. All right, okay, right. Don't worry, your husband or boyfriend will not hear about this. Okay, Ricardo, 
Arjona. <laughs> All right, Ricardo Arjona. Thanks because, okay, so let's say thanks because, uh, because he likes it. Is this a clause, guys? Is this a sentence? Is this both things? Is this, do we have more than one clause? What do you think? It's not clause. Because it's a clause. Because it's a clause, okay. All right. All right, very good, guys. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen, or have you ever seen during this course, guys, or like other courses, have you ever uh, talked about clauses? Or you have never heard about clauses at all? Yes, uh, me. <laughs> but I don't right. remember anything. All right, that happens to me, right? Like, I don't remember what I did yesterday. So you're good. You're good, Myrna. <laughs> okay. All right, very good, guys. So I'm going to tell you what, okay? The definition, guys, of a clause, okay? A clause, guys. All right, this is the definition. Definition, okay? A clause a is a group of, of words that contain a subject and a verb. Simple as that. Let me ask you something. With with this definition, guys, okay? All right, just follow the definition, okay? With this definition, guys, if I say Cheyenne sings, is this a clause? Yes. Yes, thank you, right? My pronunciation, Myrna? E-S, not yes, yes. 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 There you go, yes. there you go, right? When you say jazz, you're saying this, jazz. Hey, jazz, right? <laughs> All right, very good. So yes, guys, we're, we, do we have a subject here? Yes. All right, there is a subject, right? Cheyenne, right? Very good. Do we have a verb? Let's class verb, sing. We have a verb, the verb sings, right? We have a verb. So therefore, is this a, is this, is this a clause, yes or no? Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. Okay, clause. it is. It is a clause, guys. Not clause, clause. right? Not clause. Santa Claus, right? Clause. All right. Clause. Very good. Very good. Okay. Cheyenne Claus, no, right? Cheyenne <laughs> Claus. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. So now, oops. All right. So now, guys. Okay. When I say Ricardo Arjona, <clears throat> thanks, because he likes it. Do we have a clause here? Yes. What do you think? Yes, it is a close. All right, very good. Very good. Irene Hernandez, welcome, Irina. How are you? Thank you. Good evening. Good, good, good evening. to see you. Good, good evening. Irina, uh, tell me, where do we have the subject in Ricardo Arjona's things because he likes it? Where do we have on Ricardo Arjona? Uh, where do we have Ricardo Arjona's things because he likes it? I mean, where, where do we have the subject here in this sentence? <laughs> oh, this, uh, the subject for me is Ricardo Arjona. Very good. Okay, so yeah, Ricardo Arjona. All right, do we have a verb here? Yeah. Since... All right, thanks. Okay, very good. So we have a subject and we have a verb here. Verb. Yes. Um, do we have another subject? Yes. Yes. All right, he. we'll actually have a pronoun, right? But that's considered as a subject. Do we have another verb? Like, yes. Okay, very good. <coughs> How many sentences do we have? Two. Um, we have two. Very uh, No, no, we have one. <laughs> Don't get me confused. We have one sentence. Ricardo Hona sings because he likes <laughs> yes. it. That is one sentence, right? How many yes. clauses do we have? Um, we one? have two. There you two. go. We have Ooh, two, okay? Two. For people who said one, guys, I know that you're getting confused, okay? Remember, guys, right? So you can have two or three clauses, okay, into one sentence, okay? All right. So as long, guys, as you have a subject and a verb, that is considered a clause, okay? So let's let's see if we understood, guys. Real quick, guys. Everybody send me an example of a clause, any clause, guys, whatever you want, okay? All right. Any clause, send me an example in the chat room, guys, okay? Rafael Escobar, how are you, sir? Everything good? Good, Rafa. Uh, hello, teacher. Hello, sir. Hey, uh, do me a favor, okay? Uh, could you give me an example of a clause? Uh, I, I just arrived the class. 
Very good. I just. I don't know what this class. I arrived to the class. That is a that is a clause. Very good. Good job. Plus for Rafa, guys. Okay. That is a clause and also sentence. Right. Good job. See, because we have a subject and we have a verb. All right. Very good. Juan Hernandez. Hello, Juan. How are you? So, so Juan, uh, could you please give me an example of a clause? No one? All right, Irina, all right, Irina, could you please give me an example of a clause, Irina? Well, teacher, um, I don't know if it's correct, but uh, the example is, I arrived home late for the English class because the traffic was murder. Okay, I arrived because the traffic was murder? murder. Yeah. And, okay, right, uh, okay, that's, that's very creative. All right, so, uh, so Irina, okay, Irina, so we, well, I, you said, right? Hold on, guys, I'm trying to. All right, so I arrived along, I mean, I arrived what? Home. I arrived late, oh, I arrived home late because traffic, traffic. was Young. a nightmare, okay? A nightmare. Okay, very good, guys, good job. Good job. Yes, this is a clause of Korean. We have a clause here and we have a sentence. How many clauses do we have here, Irina? How many clauses did you give me? I guess uh, two. I arrived home late, right? This is one. Oh. You have a subject, you have a verb, all right? Yes. And then because it's the introduction for the following, for the next clause, right? Because yes. traffic was a nightmare, right? So this is the second clause. You have two clauses here. Okay. Right. What is the verb here? Got it? Oh, so we have yes. to close here. Thank you very much. Right. And we, we have one sentence. Okay. Very good. Janet. Hello, Janet. Give me one example. I'm a lover cat. All right. The other way around. The adjective goes first. I'm a cat lover. lover. All right. I'm a cat lover. All right. Very good. I'm a cat lover. All right. Uh, how many? Is this a clause? <laughs> Yes, um, right? Yes. I am, right? The verb I, subject, and am is the verb. All right, how many clauses do we have? One, two, three, four? One. We only have one. How many sentences do we have? Mm. You, we only have one, right? Very good. Only yes. one. Only one. In this case, guys, in, this, in the case above, guys, we have uh, clause number one, clause number two, and we have one sentence, okay? Very good. Blanca, hello, Blanca, how are you? Blanca, could you please give me an example of a clause? Um, uh, I came home at uh, 8 p.m. Very good. Uh, I, came home, I, came home, I came home at 8 p.m. Uh, oh, is that it? I'm sorry. Were you going to continue? P.m. because uh, I, I drive two hours. Because I drove. Two hours. I, draw, I, drove I drove two hours. Two hours. hours. Two hours. Hours. Repeat hours. Hours. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Hours. Right? Thank you. Thank okay. you. All right. How many clauses do we have here, guys? Two. Very good. I what come. are the two clauses that we have here? I come home at 8 p.m. is the one. Yes. And because drove two hours is the second. Beautiful. And how many sentences okay. do we have here? Two. We only no no one oh, one, one guys one 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 all right one one <laughs> all right very good one 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 so we do have one sentence here right right this the period okay the period gives the ending of the sentence okay that tells us that the sentence ended all right very good Kalina all right Kalina could you please give me uh, your example. My son, like a pussy, I forgot. My son likes grapes. Okay, repeat. My son, oh. My son. No, open your mouth like an O. Oh. You have to make a circle with your lips. My son. My son. There you go. My son, son uh -huh. likes grapes. Grapes. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Right. Very good. Do we have a, we have a clause. Why? Because we have a subject. Where is the subject here? 
my son. 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 My son, right? Son. All right. Everybody, son. Not okay. Son. 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 All right. Very good. Son. All right. Good job. Thank you, Galena. All right, guys. Uh, by the way, all right. Bonus question for you guys. How do you pronounce this, and how do you pronounce this? Son. Son. San, son, son. Oh. No. Oh, son, son, son. All right, son. All right. Son. All right. Son. guys. Okay, this is this is phonet. I teach phonetics at the other at my other workplace. You know, um, enseño phonetica, right? So, but we we don't hear. But guys, when you say this, guys, all right, you have to say you have to open your mouth like this. So this is gonna be your lips, okay? All right. This is gonna be like Kim Kardashian's lips. See, super wide. But you only have two teeth okay so your mouth guys has to be like this got it and you have one teeth over here in your tongue right so this is how you say son all right everybody son son all right very good now son. when you pronounce son all right take a look at my son. lips right son right son son, son. all right son. your lips son. are like this son. okay son. your lips son, son. son. All right, so, very son. good. Sorry, hold on, guys. My mouse is crazy. Okay, so your lips, guys, <laughs> they, sh they should be smiling, okay? All right, so there should be a smile, right? With your two teeth over here. So this is how you say sun, 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 It's not sun, it's not sun, guys. It's Sun, 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 Now, guys, the shape of the mouth has to be like this, but the pronunciation, guys, all right, you have, you need to pronounce the O, all right? I'm going to say, I'm going to say this one thing in Spanish, guys. Tiene que tener la forma de la A, pero pronuncias la O. Got it? Uh, uh, see? That's the sound that comes out. Uh, uh, like a rapper, right? Uh, uh, right? So, anyways, guys, so that's how you pronounce son, 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 okay? Got it? Okay. okay. All right, very son. good, guys, very good, okay? Son. If not, all right, oops, 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 all right, very good, guys. So, anyways, all right, good job, guys, okay? Do we all understand what is a clause? Do we all understand what a clause is, guys? Yes? All right, yes. very good. Yes. So now, so now we can start. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, anyways, okay. So, today's objective, guys. Okay, what's today's objective? Okay, who'd like to help me read? Someone who wants to improve their pronunciation, help me read. Me? In this class, you will uh, learn how to talk. <laughs> me? I'm, I'm sorry, Janet. Janet, please. Uh, oh, Janet. Janet. Uh, so, you're Janet. Okay, right. Janet. Okay, objective. In this class, you will learn how to tell about solution using infinitive. Close and first, first. All right, very good. Okay, repeat. Objective. 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 All right, very good. Okay, all right. In this class, you will learn. Repeat, learn. 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 Okay, very good. Infinitive clauses. Claw, 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 clauses. No. Infinity clauses. No. Guys, don't say close. There is no clauses. No, it's not clause. Clau, it's not claw. Claw. It's not. Oh, oh can you clause. say all? Clauses. 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 Okay. Clauses. Okay. Clauses. Very good. Use. All right. And phrases. All right. There you go, guys. Okay. All right. So we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about infinity clauses and phrases, and we're gonna practice. Okay. So first off, okay, let's um. <clears throat> so let's talk, guys, about. The infinitive clauses and phrases. Now that you know, guys, what's a clause, okay, let's take a look at the first sentence, right? Let's read the first sentence and tell me if you can identify the uh, the clauses, okay? All right, how many clauses we have? Now, uh, let's see, Juan Hernandez, could you please help me read the first sentence, Juan? The first uh, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's manage, management. All right, management. one thing. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to repeat it again. I'm gonna read it once, and then you're gonna read it again, okay? Management. Because we have to get fluent, guys. Okay, to get fluent, you cannot be shy, right? You can't be shy. You need to be like, 
All right, I'm going to make a mistake and I don't care what everybody else thinks. Okay, that's how you have to do it. So, all right, so one thing, all right, you're going to repeat like this. One thing to do about one it. Everybody, one thing to do about it. One thing to do about it. It's to talk to the company's management. Is to talk to the company's management. All right, okay, all right. So remember, guys, in English, you always have to open. Hold on, guys. Right, I'm going to mute it. All right, so you always have to open your mouth when you speak, guys, okay? Open it, okay? Don't be like, one thing that I do about it is to talk about the company's manager. No, I right? open it, right? You got to open it, right? <clears throat> very good, guys. So, anyways, thank you very much, uh, Juan. So, uh, <clears throat> hold on. All right, guys. So, notice, guys, okay? Uh, let's identify the clauses here, and then uh, let's see what we use this for, okay? So one, team, one thing to do about it <clears throat> is to talk to the company's management. How many clauses do we have here? Two. Two. We have two. Where is the first one? Uh, to one do about, to it. about it. Okay, one thing to, just to do about it or one thing to do about it? One thing to do about it. One thing to do about it, okay? Very good. Actually, one thing to do about it is, okay, this whole thing, all right? Um, and then where is the other clause? To talk to the company's management. To talk to the company's management, management okay? All right. Uh, now, guys, uh, we're, well, think about it, okay? Do we have a second clause? Do we have a subject and a verb in the second clause? Yes. Yes. Where? Uh, the verb the is to talk. Uh, and the subject is the company. Is the verb in company management is the subject. The company's management is the subject? All right. All right. Very good. So if I say one thing to do, all right. Um, if I say only one thing to do, is that is that a clause? One thing to do. No, because it's not no subject. Let me ask you something. Is the whole phrase a clause? Phrase. I'm sorry, what is it? Maybe. Maybe. Remember, guys, the the uh, the meaning of a clause is a, a group of words that contains a subject and a verb. The subject is what we're talking about, okay? So the subject is what we're talking about. So if I say one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Where is the subject? Okay. The company is not a is not a subject. To do about it. There is no subject. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And very good. Okay. It is a phrase. It is a phrase. Phrase. A phrase, sorry. It is okay. It is a phrase. Okay, all right. Very good. Very good. Okay, I'll 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 teach you about it later. Okay, but good. All right. Analyze it. Okay, analyze it, and then I'm gonna give you the answers. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. So where do we find the infinitives? The, the infinitives here. Do we? Can we see the infinitives? To do. Do to talk infinitive. There. To do oh. another mm -hmm. infinitive. One thing to do about it. Okay, to do about it, okay? To do about it is an infinitive, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, what about to talk? To talk, is this, talk. I'm, I'm saying, I mean, to do yeah. is, is one, I'm sorry. And then to talk is the other one, right? Very good. We uh -huh. have two. Very good, very good. Okay, all right. Second example. Um, Jocelyn, help me read, Jocelyn. Another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story. Very good, good job. Where's the first... Where is the first infinitive here? To stop. To stop, to stop them. Very good. Uh, the where is the other to one? Get, to, to, run. Get, to get. Okay. Very good. And okay. to run. To run. And to run. Okay. The there term, is another one here. Run. Good job. Okay. We got three over there. Okay. Very good. Um, next one. Okay. Where do we have the next one? Miguel. Help me read, Miguel. Okay. The best ways to fight HIV AIDS are to do more research and educate people. Repeat, research. 
Research. Research. Research. Edu repeat, educate. Research. Educate. Educate people. Okay, educate very good, very good. Okay. All right, guys. <clears throat> so let's let's analyze this, okay? All right. So um so one thing to notice here, guys, okay. Right now, first of all, first of all, write down the structure, okay? All right. So the reason why, guys, we call them infinitive clauses <laughs> is because uh, you have to understand, guys, that sometimes a phrase can work as a subject, okay? A whole phrase can work as a subject. Let's take a look at the example down here. If we say, guys, one way to help the homeless is to build more public housing, okay? So we what we got here, guys, with this right here. If I say, guys, if, if I, can I, could I substitute this, guys, with with another noun or pronoun. Could I substitute it for it with a pronoun? Could I do this, okay? Do, if you don't remember what pronouns are, guys, I, she, he, it, <coughs> they, right? Can I substitute it with a pronoun? Um. Can I say, instead of one way to help the homeless, can I say it? It. It yeah. is to build more public housing. All right, very good. There you go, guys, okay? Now you should be getting the idea of what I mean here, all right? <laughs> the whole phrase, one way to help the homeless, works as a subject, all right? Got it? It works as a whole subject, guys, okay? It is a phrase that works as a subject. Everything <laughs> else, guys, is the complement, okay? So we have, so basically here, guys, we have the subject, right? And... Uh, <laughs> We have a verb, we have a verb over here, right? So this whole thing, guys, is a clause, all right? So the reason why we call it uh, infinitive clauses <clears throat> and, fr and phrases, right? Or infinitive phrases, if you want to call them like that, <clears throat> right? Is because we have a full, uh, we have a full phrase, guys, that works as a subject, right? So now you don't need to understand, guys, like, you know, why we have, uh, why we have a whole phrase, you know, being used as a, as a subject, okay? You need to understand the structure, all right? And the structure, guys, to give solutions because we use this, guys. I don't know if, if I, if that was here, all right? We can use infinitive, infinitive uh, clauses and phrases to talk about what? About okay. solutions. About solutions, right? We talk about <laughs> solutions, okay? All right, so how else, guys? So, you know, remember this. Remember this when you want to, Give an advice to your best friend when you know their couple have has cheated on them, right? What like what what type of advice you know would you give for for them not to run into that type of situation, right? Como le vas a dar un una un una un how do you say this? Advice, consejo. Yeah, how do you say advice? Consejo, right? So how do you como le vas a dar un consejo a tu amigo para que no le den baje, right? All right, so so this is okay, right? Then when that you know when when that situation, right? When that situation, when you run into that situation, when you come across that situation, think about oh, I remember relative clauses, right? <laughs> All right, relative clauses and phrases, right? <laughs> anyways, okay. So um, exactly. so anyways, okay. So what do we do, guys? What is the first thing? All right, there are multiple ways of of uh of doing this, guys, but. Just for the sake of making this more simple for our lives, we're going to focus on one way, okay? We use the, the, the expression one way plus infinitive plus the verb be plus infinitive, all right? So, for example, okay, the uh, one way is over here, right? One way. Now, where is the infinitive here? Where is the first infinitive? Infinitive. To help. To help. All right. Very good. To help. Okay. So we have seen. All right. So we have the first. We have the first part. Hold on. Okay. So we have the first part over here. And then we have the infinitive over here. Okay. All right. Now, where do we have the verb be here? Do we have a verb here? Is. Is. Okay. Repeat, guys. Is. Not ease. Is. Is es el seguro social, right? <laughs> is. Repeat, is. 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 Okay, is. All right. And is. then infinitive, right? Do we have another infinitive here? To build. Uh, to, 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 build. 
Build. Repeat, guys. Build. 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 All right. Build. Very good. And then, guys, we have we have a compliment. Okay. All right. All right. Do my favor, guys. Did you all write down the structure? Because we're gonna you're gonna you're gonna teach me now. Okay. So, do we have the structure written down? Mm -hmm. right, I'll give you I'll give you one minute so you can finish that. And then you're gonna answer some questions for me. Teacher. Thank yes, Irina. Uh on this example, you you can change the order of the sand or the the closest and it it meaning the same right because for example you can say to build more public housing <coughs> is the way to help the homeless wow that that's yes applause guys very good okay good job yes that's another thing right i was going to mention that too uh, but yes, guys. Okay, so you can in, you can change this. Okay, you can say um, to build. You can start like this, right? To build more public housing. Uh, I'm sorry. One way uh, to to. Um, I'm sorry. What do you say? I say one more time because okay. to build more public housing is one way to help the homeless. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you can start like this, right? To build more public 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 not public public okay to build more public housing is one way so you right so this this goes first this goes second all right it, and then this part goes third got it very good right Rina? that was pretty good okay so uh to build more public housing is one way to help the uh the homeless okay so if you notice right is guys the verb is here is actually an auxiliary verb because it's helping us join two ideas together okay that's all its purpose there all right very good guys okay so now you guys thank you very much Irina. right so now guys that you have the that you have the um that you have this the the uh the the structure written down you guys are going to give me an example okay so i want you to answer this question okay so guys what do you think how would you address the problem now address guys is like saying how would you resolve okay or how would you take care of okay address guys means like take care of something right so how will you address the problem with public housing all right so right now guys in el salvador right in el salvador it's very difficult to get a house yes or no yes all right yes right because they are very expensive right because uh we do not have financing because of our credit, okay, a lot of things, right? So it is hard and houses are like way, 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 way out of our salary range, right? So they're like super, super expensive and everything is getting more expensive and, and so on, right? And we're gonna, we're gonna cry if I keep talking about that, right? <laughs> so anyways, guys, so, so, um, so how would you address, you know, public, the problem uh, uh, with public housing, right? You're gonna practice this together, guys, but I'm gonna give you an example, okay? Well, actually, you try to give me examples, okay? So I can say one way, follow the structure. One way to what? Uh, to develop. Okay, to develop, develop, develop. repeat, develop. Develop, develop. All right. Mm -hmm. To develop a, mm -hmm. is, no, to develop. Um, to develop a factory, factory, see, to develop factory. Remember guys, we got to focus yeah. on, all right, we got to focus on the question, right? You try it, guys, you have to make sense. You have to think about what you're saying, right? Because yes, you can follow the structure, but the structure, I mean, whatever you're saying has to make sense, okay? All right, you're saying, una manera de construir fábricas. Mm -hmm. That's what you are saying. Yeah, yes, the fact. Uh -huh. One way to address the problem, you know, or the housing, right? Problem, all right. Very good. So first of all, guys, okay, in the first expression, if you want to put it like this, okay, here, guys, talk, talk about, 
Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. Give me one second, right? And teacher, not t-shirt, okay? Teacher. El camisas, no. All right? I'm not el camisas, right? All right, so this is going to be the problem, right? Problem, right? All right, and then you talk about the solution, right? So here, guys, I want you to give me the solution, all right? So first the problem and then the solution. You can interchange that, but I don't want you to get confused yet, okay? Yes, Luis, tell me. Ask me the question, sir. Um, my, my idea is uh, re reduce to uh, this, this plus to the capital. All right, give me your sentence. Uh, okay, I... Okay. Uh, you can help him, guys. You can the help best him. Way, okay? uh, the best way uh -huh. to reduce. To reduce. To reduce. Uh -huh, uh, uh, public, to reduce public housing is. Mm -hmm. To reduce uh, that problem with public problem. housing, right? Because otherwise uh -huh. you're saying la, manera, la mejor manera de reducir. Is, I don't know how to say public housing in Spanish, guys. La, uh, um, it's albergue, teacher. I think. All right, very oh. good. But the thing is that you have to specify that you're talking about the problem, right? You wanna you wanna solve the problem, not yeah. Because if you say if you say the best way to reduce public housing, you're saying the opposite, okay? Yes. Quieres reducir, mm -hmm. quieres que tengamos menos casas, right? Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying when you say if you don't mention that you're talking about the problem. All right, so all right, continue. You're good, okay? You're good. It's just that one thing that we had to, we we had to add. Really for now. Very good. Continue, Luis. Okay, uh, let me check. I am, I am thinking. Okay, reduce the problem with uh, with uh, public uh, over overpopulation uh, to avoid and uh, displace. To avoid, and, uh, okay. To the best way to reduce the problem with overpopulation. Uh huh. To right. avoid, uh huh. To avoid. All right, hold uh, on, guys, 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 hold on. I'm sorry, Luis, for interrupting. Okay? okay. Are you looking at the structure, Luis? Are you seeing the structure? Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I am uh, looking for uh the next uh, infinity, but this is the idea, right? No. So there, uh, we have to join the ideas, guys. Okay, to join ideas together. Uh -huh, we use what aux what auxiliary do we use, guys? What auxiliary do we use to join ideas together? Is, is, is okay. Is, you need to join is, the second, right? We use is or are, right? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. So, so continue. Yeah. Mm. No, no. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 if I, I don't have the the idea complete. Uh, maybe I. I prepare another sentence. Just, just continue with it. Just continue with the structure. Don't worry. You're good. You're doing good. Is I, is I, very good. Is, is good is, job. Is uh -huh, is oh is to, to avoid to maybe. avoid uh -huh, to avoid this this plus this plus and this plus this plus and I don't know what that is. The desplazamiento right for socios to capital. To avoid, to avoid a... forceful displacement. Uh -huh. All right. One thing. Okay. Good job. Plus for our Luis guys. Good job. Okay. <laughs> good job. Right. Now, guys. All right. One thing that I'm gonna recommend you. Okay. If you if you're gonna give an example, guys. All right. And this is not for Luis guys. This is in general. All right. If you don't know the vocabulary, you're not gonna get, tell me anything. Right. So the reason why that happens is because you're thinking in Spanish. You're saying. Um, I like, how would you say like, like, you know, um, el imberbe cuyo caballo no se había atrofiado, <laughs> right? I mean, do, do, how are you going to say that in English? Do you know that vocabulary in English? Right? Because I'm thinking in Spanish, guys, okay? I'm using a vocabulary that I don't know in English, okay? All right? Keep it simple, okay? Keep it simple. If you don't know vocabulary, okay, you're not going to tell me a full sentence, okay? Because... All right, it is not in your in your brain yet. Okay, you have not talked about that vocabulary. Try to use vocabulary that you have learned or that you have read. You can use vocabulary that you want, but you need to have read about it first, right? Right. So that that's not for Luis guys. That's for everybody, right? Try to think about it, right? You're not gonna tell me, you know, uh, one way you know to to save money is is by um by saving. Uh, I don't know how to say 20. 
All right, you're going to get stuck. Te vas a trabar si no tienes el vocabulario para decir 20. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> so use ideas with the vocabulary that you have learned, guys, okay? From here or from any other website, okay? But very good job. Is, that was... This is new vocabulary. For example, polyhousing. Yeah, it's one yes. way. Yes, address. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this, this vocabulary, guys, this question is actually from, uh, was taken from the platform, right? So this vocabulary is, is, is in the platform, but but good job, okay, good job, all right? Very good, guys. So who'd like to give me another example, guys, and then you get to practice together? Me. Okay, right. teacher, one me. Way, uh, one way go to ahead. reduce. Okay, teacher, uh, one way to reduce um, the disemployed um, is have more inverters of manufacturing companies. All right, one way to reduce unemployment Unemployment is have more is word. no infinitive is two right two, two. two. is have. to have more inverters of manufacturing companies more what I'm sorry uh, <laughs> more inverters I um, I don't know what that is investment. Like more investors, you mean investors, inversores. Invest, okay, investors. Investors, uh -huh. Of manufacturing companies. Of manu manufacturing. Manufacturing companies. Company. Good job, all right? Well, do well done, okay? Well done. Do not forget about the structure, guys. Mirna, let's go, Mirna. But I repeat the the question i did that uh one way to address the problem with public housing is to increase the salary of the co or the workers is to increase the, the salary. salary of the workers good yeah. job okay good job hey, congratulations congratulations good job Mirna. well done all right <laughs> good job you. guys okay all right so now guys okay you're gonna practice together but before you do guys okay you're gonna answer that question. I'm gonna send it to the group, guys. If you didn't, if you didn't um, write it down, okay. So you're gonna, you're gonna tell me, Irina. Uh, please remember that there are two Irinas. Please put together. Oh, okay. I thought, Thank I you. thought, I thought it was. Wait, do we have two Irinas? Yes, because when I am from my computer and from my cell phone for the camera. Okay, all right. Yeah, and yeah, I, yeah. Together, I know. because. Oh, oh, I got you, got you. I know what okay. you're saying. Yes, yes, Thank you're right you. about that. Yeah. Thank you. All right, all right. Very good. So, uh... <laughs> all right, very good. So, so I'm gonna send the question here, guys. So, uh, so what is one way of addressing, uh, addressing the the problem with public housing? Another question that I want you to practice, guys, what is one way right, of addressing the, the problem, hold on, addressing the problem with transportation in El Salvador, right? Is there a problem with transportation, guys, or do we have the best transportation in the world? No, right? The transportation and the right. traffic teacher. All right, very good. Okay, you can talk about that too, right? So why, what is one way of addressing the problem with traffic, right? So for now, guys, okay, let's focus on, on these two, okay? And then after that, guys, I have a very a small quiz for you. And then that's it, guys. All right, do we have any questions, guys, on what we're gonna do? Gonna do or do we have any questions on the topic itself? So practice, okay, practice, and I'm gonna be helping you. I'm gonna be correcting you, okay? All right, got it? Very good, guys, very good. What is one is one way? Hold on. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure, Irina, that I don't get you together with with yourself. So so we got Irina in room number two. And then Alejandro is alone. But put the two Irinas, teacher, please. Yes, yes. I got the two Irinas in the same room. Thank you. <laughs> I got you. All right. Very good, guys. All right, let's go.
All right, guys, so let's join the breakout sessions. Laura, hello, Laura, are you there? Using the S, the X two, X two. Then with central, I write this one way to travel. Conformity is to pay a tax in the morning. Okay. I don't know. Is that correct or? I, I, I couldn't hear you too well because you sound like you're far away from, from the microphone. Could you get closer to the microphone? Okay, can, can, you, can you hear me, guys? This? Yes. Um, yes, I was asking you if it is possible for you to get closer to the microphone so I can hear you. Can you hear me, guys? Yes, I can yes. hear you. Yes. Did, did you understand what I said? When I give you an, an example. All right. Okay. I think you didn't understand. This topic. Okay. All right. Te sabes, que te lo voy a decir en español. Que no se te escucha muy bien. Te está muy lejos del micrófono. Del, del micrófono. Por eso te estaba diciendo que se te podía acercar, por favor. Hello? Yes, Juan. Go ahead, Juan, go ahead. Yes, I wanna I wanna give I wanna give you an, an example. All right, that's all right, go about ahead. About this topic using the go um, on for example. One way to travel comfortable is to pay a taxi in the morning. Very good. Okay, one way of traveling comfortably is to pay a taxi. A, a cab in the morning or a taxi in the morning. Good job, Juan. Good job, All right, Juan. Uh, Alejandro, let me hear you, Alejandro. Uh, maybe one way to solve the problem, the transportation problem is to make sure the buses uh, <laughs> are safe or have security, maybe. All right. Have security. Is to make sure the buses have buses have security. Very good, good job, uh, Miguel. Let's go, Miguel. Let me hear you. Okay, hey, one way to to address the the traffic in the morning is to practice the carpooling. To practice carpooling. Carpooling, yeah. Good job, right? All right, good job, good job, right? Continue, guys. Continue practicing. All right. Addressing <clears throat> the problem, the problem with is transportation is transportation introduce to introduce another unit is to in the answer. So yeah, what? one way. Yeah, one way to decrease. The problem with transportation is to put in under the number, the number of plates of the cars. Teacher, how can I say plates? It's placa. Yes, plates. <clears throat> okay. Yes. The, 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 the plate numbers. The plate number. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, the plate numbers. Yes. Thank you. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Uh, to play numbers of vehicles. Of vehicles. Uh, vehicles. Or of the cars, yeah. I think. Of the cars. Uh huh. Of the cars. Well, All right. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Very good. So sorry. What happened to your partner? I'm so sorry. I am alone. <laughs> oh, you didn't get anybody? I'm sorry. I thought, I, I, I don't know what happened to your partner. I'm so sorry. All right, give me your example, okay. uh, Kalina. Give me your okay. example. Okay, you, you, if I understand, you say that uh, we're talking about the transportation. We're talking, no, we're talking, we're talking. We're talking about the transportation here in El Salvador. Yes. 
So one way of addressing, addressing is the first time that I'm, I'm using that word. I, I didn't know it. It means to, okay, take care, to take care of something. Okay. Uh, one, bueno, I, I search and, and addressing redireccionar, but no, but no, it's not that way. Ad addressing is uh, to take care of something. Uh, okay. It's like saying okay. una manera de de de. de no, de, de de solucionar, kind of like that, you know. Yeah. Okay, it's it's new word for me. Yes. One way of addressing the public transportation is to provide more security on them. All right. Now remember, it means like solucionar, right? So mm -hmm. one way of addressing the transportation or the transportation problem. Addressing the public transportation problem. There you go. Yes, yes. All right. You were just missing problem because you're addressing the problem, not the public transportation, right? Okay. So all right, and then the rest was good. Okay, the rest was good. All right. Okay. So 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 basically what you're saying, una manera de solucionar o de darle solución o de buscar solución, right? It's actually more like buscar solución, right? Uh, mm -hmm. al problema de al problema sí I have to mention al problema del transporte público es es and then you use the infinitive right es yes. uh, tener menos carros en las calles to have less cars in, on you know uh, on on the street right in the streets right so that's how you say it give me another example I say I say to provide more security to provide more security, right? That security, that's great, okay? That that's also that also works, right? Okay. All right. So you got it, you got it, you got it, okay? We're Thank gonna have, uh, I'm so sorry, I didn't know that you were alone. All right. Uh, it's okay, mate. It's okay. All right, so we're, we're gonna go back now, okay? Because it's Thank almost you. time. Thank you. All right, guys, Jesus Christ, the uh, time, time flies yeah. by guys that was that was really really quick <laughs> all right guys um great job guys great job we're gonna continue practicing guys um later tomorrow we don't we don't have a class guys okay uh just make sure guys that you complete section number two um we have to go over uh, section number three and then we have a midterm right so uh next week guys we're gonna go over section number three and also the midterm you can work uh on the platform as much as you want guys um do we have any questions guys comments complaints anything 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 you need from me you good um, all right the class teacher the what tomorrow is uh class tomorrow no no class no, tomorrow. tomorrow no class no. okay all right very good guys guys uh thank you very much guys i have another class so I'll see you Monday. Guys. I'll see you Monday. See you. Enjoy. I'll see you Monday. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Guys, don't drink. If you're drinking, hey. buddy. Only water. God bless you. God bless you, teacher. See you guys. God bless you guys. All right. See ya. A little Friday. Tomorrow. Water. 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 Water.